how to use monday.com board step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started with boards on monday.com. So let's get into it. Now, I have already created my monday.com account and I'm just going to click on add workspace over here and I'm going to create a student life or student management workspace. And I'm going to show you guys how you can utilize different boards on monday.com. So you can see this is an empty workspace that I have just created right now. And what you're going to do is you're going to get started with your boards. Now, boards are a separate section within a workspace where you can organize different aspects of your life or of your business or of your organization, whatever it might be. So let's say if student life is too simple and if you're looking to manage your organization. So let's say I have my bow tie business whatever so bow tie business so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on add board and you can choose one of these templates to get started with as well so on your left you have different categories of templates anywhere from marketing project management sales and crm freelancing design software management operations education real estate and so much more so there are quite a few different uh types of templates available for you to get started with and you can really take a look at it like spend some time taking a look at these templates because you will find them to be super super easy and effective to use but if you want to get started from scratch you can just click on start from scratch click on start from scratch click on use template and then this will just open up the most simplest template available which is an empty template and now we are going to begin organizing our board so if i am running a large business i like to separate different categories of my business so uh, maybe the first board i am going to make is going to be for r d so research and development and then what i would do is i would click on add board add new board and i would add a new board which could be um research and development and then the second board could be uh, product availability or product development and then you can add maybe certain tasks and uh, let's say on the product development board I would be monitoring tasks so I'm going to click on create board and then this would be a separate kind of board it's not very different but it is slightly different on the kind of board that you're going to create and you can later on create more columns as you go to further uh, organize and categorize your different board so once I have the R&D board what I would do is I would add uh, research ideas this would be one section within the board and then i could add the second section called um in progress or in research whatever and then i can click on add new group and this could be finished or completed or successful research and then you can add another group called failed ideas and then you can see you have these different sections over here and these are basically tasks so you can click on one of these to write your tasks so our first research idea could be self tying bow bow like this and you can see our little task has been created and then you also have the person that you can assign to it so you can add different team members to your project or to your board and then you can assign them to that and then you have the status of this as well if you don't need any of these columns you can just select over here and then click on delete and then you can just delete this because instead of having the status over here i have this research ideas then in progress then successful and failed so i would have groups instead of having those statuses then you also have the due date that you can add if you want to add more sections and we want to add more detail you can click on this plus icon over here and then you can add more information about your task so let's say if you want to add sub items of the task so and this would allow you to add you know certain tasks within a task so if there are larger things that need to be managed you can add them over here and then on the second board you can obviously customize it like further on the actual task it is so let's say product development which could be uh in review product and then the second group could be successful products are approved or something like that and if you want you can also go on the status section and change different statuses i find that adding different groups is a lot more helpful when you're working on or when you're planning on navigating through multiple boards then this would be a lot more helpful then you can just click on add and you can add another board and on this you could do budgeting and then you can click on budgets over here and then you can manage your budgeting stuff, all of your payrolls, employee workflows, you know, all of that over here. So you can just open this up and now you can see you have this budgeting section. You can also on each different board, you can click on add view and add different kinds of views. So you have Gantt views, Kanban views, chart views, dashboards, and tables as well. And you can also click on the app section over here. 
So for a budgeting board, I can add a specific uh, kind of integration that would allow me to better manage my budgets. And I can just integrate that into the board and I will be able to manage my budgets all together. And you can also create different automations within each board. So because all of these are boards that are present within one workspace so data within these tasks can be shared so you don't have to worry about that you can share data across different boards but you can't share data across different workspaces so that is something to keep in mind so if i go into main workspace i will not be able to find any of the data from bowtie or sample so with that you can also click on add to board over here and you can add different uh, sections such as your important tasks your dashboards apps workflows views column and groups so if you go onto the workflow center which is the automation center basically and this is one of the most effective tools that you can use on any of your boards because this will allow you to automate a lot of functions uh, you can get notifications you can get uh, alerts you can also integrate different applications so if you're doing payroll payroll could automatically be distributed with these kinds of automations or you could get a notification whenever the day for payday arrives if you have something like a uh, project due date if you have to deliver items to your clients then you can also set those over here as well and that will enable you to set your due dates and get alerts and notifications via not only Gmail, but other kinds of notifications or whatever you might want to integrate onto the workflow center. So money.com boards are pretty simple and easy to use. They are pretty nice and um, well adjusted. They provide you with pretty good detail. You can have uh, filtrations by person and you can easily find different information around your board within the entire workspace and you can just uh, simply create new tasks and import tasks onto your boards from different boards as well but all of this does come at a price so money.com starts at the individual version which is free but it is limited to only two people but you can create unlimited board so that is one good thing about that if you are using this alone then it might be effective for you but if you have a larger team then you will have to opt for some of the paid versions of monday.com starting at day eight dollars per seat per month which will allow you five gigabytes of file storage unlimited items and you can also create one dashboard that would combine a entire board and it would provide you with a nice level summary a visual summary as well and then the standard version which is the most popular version and which i also recommend because if you're ever looking to upgrade your project management software going to the basic version is not going to be worth it so i recommend just going and upgrading on to the standard version which starts at ten dollars per seat per month which allows you 250 automations and 250 integrations with a dashboard that can combine up to five basic boards so you're going to get like really good summaries if you're working in management or if you have to provide uh, summaries to your seniors then this would be a great way for you to summarize your entire workspaces with these kinds of dashboards and then it also goes up to the pro version starting at $16 per seat per month where you have chart views time tracking formula columns and over 25,000 automations and integrations per month so that was it for today I hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.